Hey everyone, welcome to another Photo Tutorial. Today I am going to show how to run your app simultaneously on multiple devices. VS Code has a built-in feature called Multi-Device Debugging. Using this feature, you can run apps simultaneously on Android iOS emulators, Chrome browsers and physical devices too. First, launch the devices that you want to test your app with. Open the debug section, then click on Create a Launch JSON file. A launch JSON file will be created with default debugging configurations. There are two configuration objects. First one is for running app in debug mode and the second one is for running in profile mode. Profile mode is used for analyzing app performance. We don't need that for debugging. Let's add the devices to the configurations. In VS Code Terminal, run flutter devices command. Make sure you have all the devices that you want to debug is running before executing this command. The command will display available devices with few details like device name, device ID and the device operating system. In launch.json, remove profile mode configuration. Create new JSON object after first configuration. Call name. You can give any name you want. This configuration is for Android emulator. So I'm going to give Android as the name. Next add request, then assign launch to its value. Set types value to dot. Next we need to add device ID. You can get device ID from flutter devices command output. Usually device ID will be at the second column. For Android emulator, the device ID is emulator-5554. Copy Android emulator device ID and paste it to the configuration file. Next, we need to create configuration for iOS simulator. I'm going to copy and paste the Android configuration object. Modify the pasted configuration file for iOS simulator. For name, I'm going to give iPhone 12. No need to change the next two options. Copy device ID from terminal output, then paste it to the iPhone 12 configuration device ID. Let's add configuration for Chrome browser as well. So copy iPhone 12 configuration and paste it below. Change configuration name to Chrome and the device ID for Chrome browser is Chrome in small letters. So let's add that. Next, we need to add a compound for all the configuration we created. We need to add the compound after configuration list. Enter compounds. We will be running this compound file to debug all devices at once. I'm going to change the name to all devices. Inside configurations list, we need to add the configuration names that we created previously. Once you added all the names to the configurations list, save the file. Then open debug section, click on the drop down icon. You will see names of the all the configuration and compounds we created. Select all devices from the list. Then click on the green button to launch debugging. As you can see, VS Code had started three debugging processes. If any one of the devices is not launching, make sure you have entered the correct device ID in the configurations. When you run debug for the first time, the app will launch on each device one by one. The app just installed on the Android emulator. Now it will install on the next device. The Chrome browser will automatically launch during the debug process. We don't have to open it before running debug. Now app is installing on the iOS simulator. Let's wait for it to finish.
Once app installed on all three devices, open main.dot file. Let's make changes to the app and see if it hot reloads on all three devices. So I'm going to change the scaffold background color to black. Once done, hit save. It works good on Android and iOS devices. Chrome does not support hot reload yet, so it will try to hot restart when you save the file. Also, for some reason, hot restart will only finish when the Chrome window is active. If you want to do hot reload on your particular emulator, you can do that using the VS Code debug toolbar. Right now, Chrome is selected in the toolbar. You can change the emulator by clicking on the drop down. Let's undo scaffold background color change. Then I'm going to target iPhone 12. Now clicking on the hard reload button will only do hard reload on iPhone 12. Similarly, I can do hard reload on Android as well. It's also possible to select a device and stop debugging. I hope this video was useful for you. For more videos like this, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.